Grind emojis in the chat, Ben. Ryan emojis in the chat, pimps. What is up? What is up? What is up? It's your boy, Duty, back again. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. With another video. And hopefully, um, th this should be the um, series finale of uh, the side content of the DSP Vortex. <laughs> This is, you know, DSP is like The Walking Dead, the big show, and then this is kind of like Fear of the Walking Dead, you know, it's it's not that interesting, it's kind of boring, but you know, it just kind of fills that dead air when the main premiere, which is still is not around. So, yeah, hopefully this is the season finale, this will be the last video, we can just squash this whole nonsense. Uh, it looks like Pasture may have had an epiphany last night, um, where... He thought about his actions and what he did and what he was saying and uh, offered up a, I guess, an olive branch. Uh, I don't think it's to me. I think it's just to the community. I think he's trying to um, kind of fix some of the damage that he, he did with some of the stuff he did, you know. And, uh, you know, it's a shame. I mean, I feel kind of bad that all this kind of blew up. You know, I honestly don't feel like dealing with this drama with anybody. I mean, how many times have you heard me have drama like this with anybody been doing this for over two years i've never had any beef like this with anyone and i know some people don't like my channel don't like my content don't like that i pump out so many videos for whatever it is, and that's fine that's cool I, I don't mind you you have the people you like and that's cool and i and i appreciate that and it's all good but i've never kind of had a beef like this you know i have stuff said on my comment section all the time and i, I either ignore it or a comment on it. I don't delete it. I just I make a comment or whatever. You know, I just state why I believe they're wrong. You know, and just leave it like that. It, it's just it's just that that kind of thing. But you've been saying some pretty heart hurtful, nasty things the last uh, week. This is going today is a week. You know, uh, from calling us calling me personally a slave master, from calling uh, a few other people house n words, which I'm not going to say that word. On and on and on, just calling us out, telling us that we were sinners, we could go to hell, that we're demons. I mean, just those type of things. And that was the reason why, you know, my thing is, as a Christian, you know, and a YouTuber, I don't mind being called out on something I'm doing. If you think I'm doing something wrong, call me out. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm human. I, I don't like being called out on stuff. But if I am getting called out, cool. Uh, I'll respond or just ignore it or, you know responding kindly saying why i disagree you know i don't go around calling people d-bags and demons and, and all that stuff i don't go around telling people i'm gonna create a troll army to attack uh my enemies like the family cartel here <laughs> anyway i i don't want to make this i don't want to make this a a, a a a video where i make fun of past uh, where I, okay, so I'm not I'm call, I'm not calling Pastor I'm Eric. We'll call him Eric. Where I'm not, I'll, I'll make fun of Eric or whatever. You know. Um, you know, I, and and when he just leveled those charges up, saying those nasty things, I felt like I needed to see who is the person that's lobbing the charges. You know, you know the adage: people in, in, in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Uh, from a biblical perspective, you know, how dare you point out the speck in your brother's eye when you have a beam in your eye? So I wanted to see who it was that was making the accusations. And what I found was pretty disturbing. I felt like I needed to publish that. I needed to set the record straight and say, hey, you know, you calling me out for these type of things and you call me a demon and tell me you're going to hell. You know, as a Christian, I'm going to call you out on some of your misbehaviors. And of course, you know, Pastor denied saying he swear it was hacked when you can actually go into his account right here in his community tab. Hold on a second. I'm not I'm not gonna post it, but if you guys want to check and if you go to his about, he has a links page here. If you click my links, or actually if you click his Twitter, click his Twitter. It goes directly to the Twitter page I used that he claimed was hacked. So I don't understand why Pastor is claiming his Twitter was hacked. <laughs> Excuse me, Twitter is hacked. And he doesn't use it, but still has a link to his YouTube page. That that is besides the point. I, I just wanted to point that out. So, you know, reading his apology, it sounds like, you know, he still has beef. And I guess if he has beef with me, fine or whatever. And it also kind of sounds like he's just going to kind of go back to doing his thing. And, and which is cool. That's fine. Do your thing. 
I won't bug. I won't bug you. I won't bother you. I won't say anything. I won't comment on your channel. I won't do anything. You you do you. You know. I just ask you, Pastor. <clears throat> excuse me, Eric. That if you are going to make an accusation or you are going to talk about a detractor, that you name names. You say duty, or you say snort, or you say chill, or you say hate army, or you say shinko. You point it out, and I think that what that does is that helps alleviate a lot of the problems that maybe you. I've been experienced the last few months and you know if you have a problem with one person deal with that one person don't don't call out a whole community you know that, that's just a bit of advice that I can give you anyway I know this is a boring series finale but I just wanted to put it out there and just state you know it seems like pastor uh, after hemorrhaging <laughs> And after a week of this, he finally realized it woke up or someone talked to him and said, hey, he's, uh, he went overboard, especially with the whole defending DSP being his, you know, being now his, his advocate and actually calling on Superhound to, uh, copy strike channels, which is, you know, that's a very sensitive subject for a lot of people in the community, being that they had to deal with that nonsense, um, during the last year, so... I hope that you take all that back, you know, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it, folks. That That is it. I'm not even going to premiere this. <laughs> it's a boring series. Think of it as a, a Game of Thrones season eight, episode five or six, whatever about six. I think it went to six. Think of it like that. Boring. Uh, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it. Seriously, seriously, I'm not joking. <laughs> I know I promised like four times that it was my last but but this is it. I'm done. I'm done. Unless, you know, I get called out and some nastiness happens. Uh I'm I'm done. Uh Eric, good luck. Um do, do whatever you want to do. Um as for me, I'm kinda done. Uh, you know, helping, talking to you, whatever, or addressing you. Um, you know, the the stuff you say like I know you're trying to apologize and make amends for what you said and stuff like that, but I think you went a little too far. You went too far, especially with the super hound, the death threats, and uh, claiming to be now DSP advocate. I mean that you 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 went too far. It's just that's a bridge too far. I think if if you would have just stuck with just the beef we were having and chill, and I think maybe we could have talked about it and maybe make amends and just you know try to move forward. But um, you you went, you went a little bit too overboard, and personally, I just, I just don't trust you. I, I wouldn't trust you to, to to do anything because I could see something like this just popping off again, and I, and I don't feel like dealing with that. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the the series. Hope you guys. I'm sorry the finale wasn't more um, interesting, but you know it it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.